Lately, I've been working my way through my backlog of comic books, and one of the series I finally managed to get through was the anthropomorphic animal detective series Black Sad. Created by Juan Diaz Carnales and illustrated by Juanio Gardeno, Black Sad tells the story of feline detective John Black Sad as he navigates his way through gritty noir cases involving murdered actresses, kidnapped young girls, and heroin addicted jazz musicians. The first thing that stuck out to me about this book, besides the very unique art style, was the dialogue, really authentic stuff that made you feel like you were watching a black and white Humphrey Bogart detective movie. One of the first monologues Black Sad has goes something like this. There are mornings when one has trouble digesting his breakfast, especially if you find yourself in front of a dead body and an old flame. Lines like this permeate the book and manage to stick with the reader from beginning to end. As I stated before, the art is just plain striking and impressive. It got to points that I almost forgot I was reading a book populated by talking animals. The art also manages to convey a lot of complex emotions, just with the tilt of a character's eyes or the nod of their head. It's all really great stuff. Action is also in no short supply. Early on in one of the first books, Black Sad fights a couple of hired thugs in a graveyard, and it is just plain brutal and beautiful. The reader really does feel every hit as they happen. You know, at first I would have described this series as what would happen if a Disney movie grew some balls, and to my surprise, I wasn't very far off. Gardenio had in fact worked for Disney for a short amount of time. The stories themselves, while drawing heavily from classic detective movies and TV shows, all manage to be clever, well-written, and usually keep the reader guessing to the very end. Social and political commentary also plays a big part in the series. Arctic Nation dealt with themes of racism, while Hell's Silence touches on the Red Scare and fear of nuclear war. Why, even Cat Hitler shows up for a panel. No, I'm not kidding you, there is Cat Hitler in this comic book. In 2006, Variety reported that a movie adaptation of Black Sad was in development to be produced by Thomas Langham and directed by Louis Leterrier of Transporter and Incredible Hulk fame. It was originally scheduled to be released in 2009. Alexandre Ege, director of Hills Have Eyes and Piranha 3D, has also expressed an interest in directing the film, which was reportedly budgeted for around $100 million. However, the project never went into production, and there has been no mention of it since 2008. All in all, the four Black Sad collection make for great reads. If you love crime drama like me, or just love good comics, and yes, I suppose I should mention Black Sad for reasons that are, well, pretty obvious, has a very big furry following, but all the same, that shouldn't stop you from picking it up. And as far as furries go, well, like John Lennon said, whatever gets you through the night is alright. So, until next time, I'm the DVD Grouch, I was late to the party, but now I'm glad to be here.